Welcome to this video on Data Lake Export for Dynamics 365 for Finance and Supply Chain Management. First of all, uh, don't get confused, there are two options for Data Lake Export that you can find in the Module System Administration. So when you go here down to System Administration, Setup, Export to Data Lake, this here is the old one, that's uh, Entity Store Export to Data Lake, this means it's a AX DW, so form a data warehouse database if you like so, that could be exported, but we are talking about this here, Export to Data Lake, which will enable you to export data based directly on the table into a Data Lake account. Uh, data Lake, from a technical perspective, is nothing else than a simple storage account, a uh, Gen2 storage account in your Azure subscription. This export is available in uh, Tier 2 and productive environments, but not in a Tier 1 environment, because it comes as Power Platform plugin that you have to configure in Lifecycle Services. So you have to go at least for your test environment or your production environment to use this here. Now what we can see here, and what is very convenient, now we can uh, search based on the table name, so you don't have to uh, put your tables in some entities and publish these entities, but you can go directly here for a table and we can search here by the name, let's say the cast table for example. So we have this table here, the cast table, like it is named in uh, Dynamics and in the table browser and you can directly export this table here and as you can see it's already running this means data is copied from Dynamics 65 into the storage account now you can use any other table that you like and let's clear this here out select the table let's say it's a Let's use some um, asset book table for example. So we go for asset book. And if you want to export the content into the storage account, select this table, click on activate. Now this is changing into the state of initializing and after a few minutes this data is exported to the storage account. The good thing here is we have a near time uh, synchronization like uh, Microsoft calls it. This means whenever you have a change in Dynamics 65, this change is synced to the storage account in approximately a few seconds. So if you create a new customer, you book a new invoice, whatever, you have this information immediately in your storage account, in the data lake, and you don't have to run some batch jobs that copy things at midnight or something this is really in near time. So now how can we use this, how we can access this? Like I said, it's a storage account, so let's go to the Azure portal and this is my storage account that I'm playing with and what we want to have is the address of the storage account. So when we are scrolling down to the endpoint, we have here the address data lake storage, the address of the storage account. Now let's switch to Power BI. And we go to load data and from the dialog we are going to load data from Microsoft Azure. So from Azure, we are going for the Azure Data Lake Storage Account Gen 2. And we are going to connect. Paste the URL in here. You see this is the URL with the DFS in it. And choose a common data model view. And in the next step, we have to say how we want to authenticate. And in my case, I have already uh, set up the authentication with the key. You can find the key when you go to your Azure portal. 
access keys. Then you can use this key as a first key or the second key, whatever you like, and authenticate Power BI against this storage account with this key. And what you see here is the content of the storage account. So now let's open this here and we're going for the tables. And here we have some uh, folders if you like so with the different tables in it or you can directly go in here to the tables. This may take a few seconds to open this content and display this content to you. And here you have the list of all the tables that are exported to the data lake. So let's go for the cast table for example. It is loading a few data sets to preview the content. And you can scroll here and see all the fields from the cast table that you get by importing it. And we click on load and this is loading the content from the cast table from our storage account. Let's drag a table to our Power BI report. And when we open this here, you see this is all the fields that we know from the table in Dynamics 365. Let's go for the cast account, for example. For the account num, drag and drop it. And the cast group. and the data area ID and that's it. That's how you can work with the data lake and load Dynamics 365 tables into Power BI without using the entities.